It's the time of month when Manchester United win a football match. This is it. This is the October win. And hopefully the November win will be just as enjoyable. Being slightly facetious, but Manchester United have just beaten Brentford. And just about the only person left back in Old Trafford. Well, there's one or two people. I want to show you what it looks like. It looks lovely. So positives, it was dry, it was sunny, Manchester United won and a lot of people were predicting 2-1 actually outside the ground before the game. I wasn't one of them but a lot of people were predicting it. Um, pretty controversial in so much as Brentford's goal really caused a lot of anger among Manchester United's coaches. Words were had on the field and off the field and in the tunnel at half time. A lot of people are not happy with the referee, the way he dealt with the situation at all. And I felt that the referee panicked a little bit, started bringing his cards out. So we're going to have a big run of matches now. And well, got Istanbul again this week. I'm going to do the ratings anyway. Uh, so Anana pretty dramatic save after 30 minutes. You know what people might not have noticed about that? When you're at that end, the scoreboard end, the K stand end, the sun comes right into your eyes. So I thought that was pretty significant. Um, not really at fault for the goal. There's a seven. Gilgo Delo played as a right back, over hit a pass forward on 26. Some pretty smart defending to get his side out of trouble after 42, just before the goal. He timed a header to stop another attack after 44, just before the goal. I found himself clear in front of the goal after 68 minutes. And I played a, a decent enough game. Um, seven, a delict. He went down after 10 minutes. Returned to the pitch five minutes later, but that wasn't the end of that. So he was in the wars again because the blood was coming out of his head and he was told to go off. When he did, Brentford scored. Um, I wasn't sure that. I was going to see him in the second half, but he came out and I thought he did really well. He was intercepting balls in the second half. I thought Brentford faded quite badly. It's like they accepted the, the 2 1 defeat and weird atmosphere towards the end. But Delic gets a seven. I'm not going to give everybody a seven. Um, well, the next play, he, he, he's not getting a seven. Uh, Johnny Evans, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Yeah, he starts United win, and he put five. Him, him and his wife put five hundred quid in to our Kilimanjaro climb this week. So honestly, could have scored five own goals today, and I'm just not going to slate him. Obviously, he wasn't going to do that because the minute he started, you knew that Manchester United were going to win the game. He was sending invisible signals to all of his teammates. Just saying, let Brentford score one, we'll score two, and I'll take you all out on a night out tonight. Johnny, yep, well done. Alessandro Martinez, left back, quite interesting that one. Um, but I thought he looked okay. I'm not, not sure whether he's a solution to Manchester United's issue at left back. I'm not sure when Luke Shaw will come back and play at left back or Terrell Malassia as well. But he looks like Martinez. I think Martinez was at his best when he was playing alongside Rafael Varane in, in that first season. And he's had a shaky few weeks. And when it was Johnny named as centre half, I was completely comfortable with that. But yeah, Mark, I thought the defence was all right today. Seven. Um, Christian Eriksen, he skied a 34th minute shot. Uh, and he didn't know that a free kick had been given, which is unlike him because he's quite a decent finisher. Uh, he nicked a ball from a Brentford counter-attack on 89. And little moments like that can be key because if Brentford would have counted and scored, bang, the mood would be completely different. The pressure around the manager would be completely different. So Ericsson is on uh, seven. Just seen Brentford's goal again. I'm allowed to take one off Diogo Dolo. Yeah, and uh, also Martinez. Um, yeah, he, he was... 
given a pretty rough ride against Brian and Bueno. Who I think have scored more goals than Manchester United this season. Uh, Casimiro, quite interesting at the end of the game when he was injured. Uh, he stayed around in front of the Stratford end. People were singing his name. And I thought he had a decent performance today. He teed up Garnacho to shoot after 25. Made a very good interception after 29. Uh, he shot towards Trafford Bar as opposed to the goal after 77 and it just landed uh, 46 minutes later and yeah I thought that was a, an encouraging afternoon for, for, for Casemiro um, I'm not sure that Brentford was as strong as some of the other teams that you know come up, up against thousands of households are already reduced their energy bills with free ETO4 upgrades with Improve Easy you can access a wide range of energy saving solutions, including a brand new boiler, solar panels, air source heat pump, and insulation for your walls, roof, and loft. Wondering if you qualify? Well, if you live within 80 miles of Manchester, if you receive benefits or have a household income of less than 31, okay, or have health issues, you should be eligible. Ready to check if you qualify? Click on the link in the description. It takes just 30 seconds to check. Don't miss out on improving your home, cut those bills, and make a positive impact on the environment. So the next player after Casemiro, who we're gonna to come to, is Bruno Fernandez. He put a really good early ball in after 90 seconds. Um, and United started, started quite well. Uh, I'm not convinced that Bruno's anywhere near the levels that, that he should be. There was one pass in, in, towards the end of the first half which, which looks a real risk. He did make an assist uh, for Hoyland, superb assist actually. Um, so I'm gonna give Bruno, I'm gonna give him six. He chased hard, but it's not classic Bruno yet. Garnacho, I'm gonna give him eight. I'm gonna say that he's man of the match, apart from JE. He took a left foot shot after 25. And he also hit a target. Yeah, target store in Illinois, United States, absolutely miles off. But after 40 minutes, he hit the target again. There was a deflected shot and he got the equaliser. The really nice run and shot after 50 minutes, had another shot on target after 83 minutes. So I think he's exciting when he's playing. I think the crowd feed, feed in and off him. So go on, that shows man of the match for me. It was a lovely take and goal. I'm also going to give Marcus Rashford a. I thought he worked really hard. He came in off the right. Beautiful assist for the, the equaliser. We saw him working hard against Villa. We're seeing more of that now. So he's giving it a go, Marcus. And I think that's pretty, pretty encouraging to see. Um, and there were a few other chances for him as well. Maybe eight's a bit generous, but... I thought that Marcus was was pretty decent today, um, as was Rashmus Hoyland. He he's a proper handful. He made a good run towards that Fernandez ball I spoke about after 90 seconds. He was really good turning. He receives the ball with his with his back to goal, did defender on him, and one such move led to Garnacho being set up after 36 minutes. He hit a low shot wide after 39 minutes. Another lovely turn after 41 minutes to set up Garnacho, So he, he was pretty encouraging in the first half, was Hoyland. And it was a challenging day for him when you're up against Collins and, and Pinnock. Um, they're decent players, they're competent players, but it was all about the turns today for me with Rasmus Hoyland. The main thing here was a win for United. That was what was needed today more than anything. It didn't matter if it was scruffy, but there were some, um, some Good encouraging football today. It's a nice day to watch football at Old Trafford. And we know that there's far bigger tests to come, but this was a test and Manchester United have, have passed that test. And nice just to go home, having seen United win a game, with it not pissing down. You know, it's just been pretty glum so far this season. So cheers to everybody who bought United We Stand outside the stadium. Loads of you did, loads of you uh, said really nice things and put your hands in your pockets for the Kilimanjaro walk we did as well so that's greatly appreciated and 
subscribers will get United We Stand in the post and you can download it from midnight tonight. So the next game will be Fenerbahce away where the atmosphere will be completely different to how it was at Old Trafford today. But today was a good day at Old Trafford. I'm not saying it was a great day. I'm not saying that being 10th in the league is um, anything that we should be shouting about. But there was an improvement and three points is three points. I'm going to go down to the mix zone and see what's what now.